decided to go to this new place called Waikiki Market. It's um, like a new grocery store um, takeout place. We're going for a media invite. And what is a media invite, you ask? Well, that is when... It was in this moment that I realized I don't know how to explain what a media invite is, but I'll do my best. Basically, a media invite is when a PR company and the businesses themselves invite people from the media, whether it's social or traditional, to visit the location so they can tell their audiences all the great, cool new things happening. It's a great way for the businesses to get more exposure and hit different demographics, and a way for content creators to get exclusive first access to places. From the looks of it, um, Waikiki Market kind of looks like Duke's Lane in Waikiki. Um, it looks like kind of like an upscale grocery store where you can get like stuff to go for the beach and the picnics at the parks. Oh shoot, I dropped my earring. Oh man. Okay, well I can't wear this one anymore because I lost the back. Waikiki Market is going to be in the new Lilio Waikiki. It's kind of like an apartment complex that recently just finished i think it's right along kuhio avenue across from like apatito and tanaka of tokyo so i'm super excited to go check it out and i hope you guys will follow along with me At media events, we usually get what's known as a press release, which sums up what the event is about and any important information that the business wants you to know about. So Waikiki Market is on the second floor. Let's go check it out. Basically what a media event is, we get to try a bunch of different foods um, and then just tell our followers what we think about it. All events do things differently, but for large events like this one, they usually give out small samples of their best dishes and then display the full-size versions for the photos. And these are the variety of bowls that they have. There's the North Shore style, choke veggies, local kind, Chinatown, and Seoul style. Ooh. And get this, there's also a Malasada station. Oh my god, look at that. So our seasonal flavor is going to be guava. We also have a cinnamon flavor and a Li Hing sugar for the uh, malasadas. This is the malasada. I like that it's a square and not like a regular circle like most places. It's a good size. This is my face for size comparison. Okay. Okay, there's so much sugar coming off. It is a little denser than most places like Leonard's or Penny's. There is a lot of sugar, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet. The dough itself also has a bit of sweetness to it. It's pretty good. So they're making samples of the short rib right now. So let's grab one. Ooh, there's like a thick piece of short rib. Oh my god. My mouth is my mouth is watering. Um, there's a thick piece of short rib. I think that's potato salad and some broccolini. This short rib, look at that. It's so soft. Oh my god. Okay. Mm. There's so much flavor coming out of it. It's not too salty. It's not tough. And it kind of just like melts in your mouth. And we're gonna try this potato salad. I can't really eat potato salad because I can't eat mayo. I hate the taste of it. But this one looks very promising. Mm. This is so, so good. There's so many different things inside of it. I see peas, olives, um, carrots. I'm blind. The more. Everything makes sense now. I was wondering why this place looked so nice and so familiar. It's because it's owned by Foodland. Like I should have realized it when the people signing us in were part of the Foodland family, but for some reason it didn't click until now. But this is the Waikiki version of Kahala Market, which is why it's called Waikiki Market. So interesting. Which is why you'll find some stuff like all of their Maika'i brand items um ooh, and they have Vayakea. i love this water company so much i usually don't drink filtered water but they are the only ones that i really really love i'm gonna show you guys a downstairs restaurant called pico kitchen and bar it has a really comfy homey vibe to it and it reminds me of redfish poke and magia table which are also restaurants owned by the sullivan family of companies and i love that there's an open kitchen concept going on too they had a lot of drinks and food pre-made for us to take photos of have little samples of their surf and turf and drinks and this one is a blue lemonade mocktail. At these events, I usually love to rearrange the food to fit my own style. I usually go for aerial photos with action shots for my Instagram cooking photos. Okay, 
Okay, this is the serving turf from Pico. They're downstairs at Waikiki Market. This one is a smoked ahi patty. And for those of you who don't know, this is pipi kaula. It is a smoked, salted, dried beef of some sort. It's similar to beef jerky. Um, so we're gonna try it. <laughs> oh, there's so much flavor to this. It's sweet, not super salty. It's soft. Most pipi kaula that I have is like really, really chewy and like hurts your teeth. This one is so good. It has like a teriyaki taste to it. Um, it's slightly charred, which I really like. It really gives off that kind of like grilled, smoky meat vibe. And this one is the Ahi Patty. Mm. There's so much flavor in it. It's also really soft, really tender. Yeah. Thanks for coming along on my little media event to Waikiki Market. I don't know how to close off these YouTube videos yet, so uh, yeah. Sorry I was a little choppy, but here's everything you need to know about the new place. And I hope to see you guys on the next video, where I promise I'll slowly get better at making these videos.